well, who you know who's got a record or not? And, and the Scots became somebody we, we became very interested in. So George Munsey um, um, had had already played for us in one day cricket. No, he hadn't. We'd, we'd looked at him actually as to whether he could be involved. You know, his his T Twenty and his fifty over cricket was such that he, he was really stood out. Um, 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 McLeod was in Kent anyway, um, and uh, you know we started to, to make these things, and then we needed a seamer. So, um, uh, Sarif um, came uh, and played, and we thought, well. I, if we can, we, we're just going to make the most competitive side that we can. They were all delighted to, to get the opportunity to come down. We knew they'd be available for two games. We tried to keep it as secret as possible because I think from Middlesex perspective, um, you know, they were out of the, they, they weren't competing for anything. But I think, you know, the fact that we'd already qualified and the fact that we'd lost a whole squad probably meant that we weren't going to be that competitive. Uh, and, you know, therefore, they didn't really worry about it, possibly. I, I don't know. But we de- deliberately decided to keep the Scottish element out of it and therefore come 4.30 or whenever we had to announce the site, the fact that the three Scots, the Spitfires, <laughs> as, uh, as Liam called them, 